So what do y'all think? Worth restoring? There it is. Garage find. 1969 Charger RT with a 440 Magnum and the automatic. You don't come across these anymore. Pretty hard to find. It's rusty, I'm gonna be honest, but uh, these are so hard to come by, it doesn't even matter. Oh, you got the trunk keys? Yeah. People come by. Oh yeah, it's stuck. That'll be interesting. Lighting in here is not very good as you can see, but we'll give it a try. Let's see how the interior looks. Green on green car. Green everywhere, and I love that. The seats are in fantastic shape, front and rear. Rear shelf is good. <coughs> Dust. It's really been well preserved on the inside. You can see there's a CB radio that goes along with the antenna on the back. I mean, it's a Duke's car, you gotta have something like that. Looks like the radio has been taken out. I bet it was aftermarket at one point anyway. And then there's a switch next to the radio. I'm not sure what that is, I'll ask the owner. Um, but everything else is preserved and in fantastic shape on the inside. This door panel's in great shape, mint, mint. And then down here, you can see more evidence of the rust to come. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You'll see on the walk around, there's more rust on the body, but... Passenger side floorboard, it's not nearly as bad. In fact, it might even be okay. But I haven't looked underneath yet. Driver's side obviously needs a new floorboard. Love this. Reminds me of an Imperial or something. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, all of this. Not sure what's going on with this. Trunk is also so far impossible to open. I don't know if we'll do that today. The window is stiff. It wouldn't open for me. I don't want to force it. I might be able to get it down if I forced it, but not worth it. I'm going to leave that as is. It's like a white top and looks like maybe it used to have vinyl. I wonder if there was a, uh, a join here or a weld. There's some cracking there, of course. assures me it is a genuine RT. It had pinstripes added, but also the RT stripes deleted. So if you're looking for RT stripes, I'm told that's why it's missing them. 
We'll look at the fender tag in a minute and see. So matching wheel on the rear. This door opens and closes really nice. Feels solid, don't quote me on that, but it's not like the other side, it appears. That door closes nice, solid, solid. Magnum. Looks like the trickle charger has been charging a while, huh? Pretty dusty. This looks like the trim for the vinyl roof. Don't want to close the hood on that. I wonder if these hinges even move. I don't even want to touch it. But These look like new brake lines. I think uh, I'll flash some information about the car's maintenance and spec here up on the screen. And I want to say that new brake lines might have been on there at some point. This being a northern Illinois car, and with the state of the rust on the car, you can see, I would not at all be surprised if it needed some brake lines at some point in the past. I believe these are the original Mopar wheels. Looks like uh, some red calipers on there. What size are these? These look skinny. I guess skinnies to go along with the fat rear tires. Let's see if we can get the size on them. Two fifteen seventy fourteen. Mud and snow. All season. SR fours made by I can't tell. I wonder if that's just a rust hole or if there used to be some trim in there or something. Trying to get a good shadow here to read these numbers and letters. That's a little better. I'll get a picture of them and flash them up on the screen here as well. There's the fender tag for you guys. How about you decode that for me and let me know in the comments what all that means. I love these stickers too. When he showed me this car originally, don't take off those stickers. Those are too cool. Especially that one. How awesome, how awesome is that? Alright, I'm going to put you guys under the car now. Undersized, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, based on what you could see on top. top. 
Not too awful. Definitely restorable with the value that these cars have. I would say it would take a lot more than this to be not restorable. This is definitely restorable. Classic front end, flip lights. Front end looks good. I'm trying to find out if it's ever been hit in the front. I'm no body expert, but uh, I can't see any evidence of an accident. Maybe you guys do. Let me know. These are a little wrinkled up. Just the tops though. Nothing further down. Someone comment below, what are these for? These signal indicators? Like turn signal indicators? That's my guess. Pretty cool if so, I didn't know these cars had that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I bet that's what they're for. Pretty rad. I don't know if you can see much, there's stuff in the way, but check it out. Like I said, the pinstripes are different than what you might expect. They look maybe more of an aftermarket thing or a dealer option thing. But uh, it had the 440 RT stripe deletes is what the owner told me. So that's why we don't see the RT stripes on the back. Another shot of that front end. So hot. What a car. What a car. So we got skinny pizza cutters on the front and then these keystone wheels on the back. 275 60R15s. Looks like Firestone SS radials. Like I said, yeah, there's rust, but it won't matter for whoever buys this car. It's going to get blown apart anyway. And then restored, I assume. Some more rust. Here's the other wheel. A little rustier looking, but you probably sandblast it. And I noticed the wheels, tire size is visible on this one. Yeah, I guess they're not maybe pizza cutters for back then. 215, 7014s. And those look like maybe original wheels. But there's a little dent here. Not really a big problem with this car, but it's there. So, what do y'all think? Worth restoring, right? I won't be the guy to restore it. Interested? I won't be the one to restore it, but if you know someone who is, comment below or contact me. And maybe the owner or his, uh, his broker can help you get a hold of this car. Good luck, and thanks for watching the Mind of Matter YouTube channel. Let's do one more shot of the back here, which is my favorite angle. And we'll leave it at that. All right. Well, thanks for watching the Mind of Matter YouTube channel. And stay tuned and stay subscribed for more videos like this.